Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us at Snow Globe Rescue today. Hello. I'm Tony, and with me as usual is Allie. Hello, hello. And today we have a snow globe repair video for you. Uh, you may have seen this snow globe in one of the uh, new snow globe videos we did uh, in the past uh, month or two. Mm -hmm. Uh, Allie's mother found this at the thrift store. She liked it. Uh, and as you can see here in the front, it says a mom is a forever friend. So, uh, we're going to fix it for her. Yep. Uh, and so, um, before I get started, uh, just wanted to remind you, we have some links at the end of the video. If you want to wait till the end and see some other videos that we have, if you like this content and, uh, you know, consider subscribing and liking. Please. Yeah. So, um, what we have here is hummingbirds. Uh, we have hummingbirds and roses. It's very large. Yeah, too. It's, a, it's a huge globe. Uh, it's a six inch globe. So uh, uh, it's got a brick uh, looking uh, like a wall, almost a, a base with flowers all the way around. And it's a, uh, it's a, uh, you know, it's a nice globe. It's a, uh, it's a very large, heavy globe. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, the water's turning a little bit yellow. This 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 globe is actually fine, except for the yeah, fact. it's a shame. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but the 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 gunky. snow the snow the apparently water. has broken down. Yeah. And there's like big globs of like uh, brown goo in there that mm -hmm. are so we're gonna have to. Gross. So we got to just uh, take all that water out, uh, put new water, mm -hmm. new glitter, and put it back together. So that's it. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, there's nothing wrong with this thing. Just needs new water. So, oh, do you want to say something? No, I, you know, I was just thinking it, once it's done it'll, and then we fix the one that we have that's like a mini me version. Right. Yeah, we have a, another, we have a snow globe. Uh, uh, Allie has a snow globe that is uh, like a, uh, a part of the set. It's about half the size, has one hummingbird, but it's the same base, same flowers and everything. Yeah. So Allie will have one here and then her mother will have one that uh, is complimentary over at her place. Yeah. So. Uh, All right. Why don't you join us uh, and watch us fix this? Let's do it. All right, we'll see you in a minute. All right, as usual, we start with the removal of the cover. And this is a pretty good sized cover right yeah, here. Yeah, it is. And uh, as is our new procedure now here at <laughs> Snow Globe Rescue, we are going to heat the cover up to loosen that glue because sometimes some of these covers are glued a lot better than others and yeah, they just uh, crack. it's and we had a couple of times where yep. the uh, with the where there was a little bit of damage to the base trying to get that off of there so heating it up makes it a lot easier to take off and less likely to damage anything yeah it's just really thin so yeah. and crack. something and something this big it, it, it takes less leverage to crack it so we're gonna just heat it up so uh, Ali if you'd hit it with the hair dryer and when the glue is melted we'll it. that's okay Hey! Wow. Okay. <laughs> that popped off. Oh, look at this. The uh, the music box fell oh, apart in there. Look at that. Okay. You know, we, I guess we never tried to play this music no. box, but yeah, the mu the the, the uh, regulator or the governor, as you as some people might call it, uh, fell out, and the uh, uh. this whole mechanism. Uh, I'm gonna have to see if I can put this back together. Yeah. Uh, I've never had this part come apart on me, but I think I can get this back together. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. Okay, governor. We will we'll read. Yes, sad. the governor. Right. This is this is the governor. This is what controls the speed of the uh, of the music box mechanism right here. So mm -hmm. very important. So we will try to fix that uh, at the end. Okay. All right. So that cover didn't come off as bad as I thought it would. Which is good. Yes. Now, I'd never take a chance. Right. So this looks pretty good here. Uh, now, when I say this looks pretty good, uh, I mean, uh, yeah. they, there's nothing being pulled. They didn't put any glue uh, around the stopper to seal it, which is why there's... Um... I mean, oh, which know is surprises yeah. me, there's no air bubble. I just realized there is no air yeah. bubble. So this is one of the few globes uh -huh. we've seen that is not glued uh, around here to keep it sealed and has not lost any water. First time I've seen it. Yeah, it's interesting. And they do, it looks like they, they did put one bit of glue and I've seen this on a lot of globes that they have this one bit of glue dripping over the side here, which I don't know if that's on purpose yeah. or if that's supposed to hold the, the stopper in, but it obviously it's it's not enough, but uh, let me see, that's the only piece of glue that's, that's uh, on the stopper here. So let me see. And some people call this a plug. Uh, we all, we learned it as stopper, yeah. but so I'm, I'm more comfortable with stopper, but some people like to say it's a plug. So, okay. So this stopper is not glued anywhere else here. So now it's going to make it easy. Uh, let's see. Uh, we don't work on globes this big very often. Uh, 
it's uh, whenever we do, it's, it's usually fairly easy because the, the, the pieces are so big that they're yeah. easy to deal with. They're not as, uh, it's not as hard to, to work with as some of the smaller globes. Get a little more. Uh, I see them moving. A little more give. <laughs> a little They're more. Trying uh, to fly. A little more forgiving is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, they are. You're absolutely right about that. Oh, I, I, ooh, I hear air. And yeah. Water. Yeah, they're trying to fly. They're trying to escape. Yeah. Okay, here we go. And almost out. And there it is. Okay. Right. So let's see. Oh, there we go. All right. All right. There oh, pretty. It is. All right. So. Okay. There is the uh, figurine. Now the figurine actually looks like it's pretty clean. Yeah. The, uh, the, the the stopper the stopper has all this brown gunk on it so there's a lot of uh, this uh, slimy brown stuff and, and glitter it's stuck to floating it floating around right uh, this looks pretty good we're gonna rinse this off uh, maybe use a, a a soft brush just to you know clean up a little bit but I don't think it really needs anything more maybe some detergent uh, so we'll clean that up definitely we're going to pour this water out and that glitter and I'm sure Ali has new glitter already picked out to I put do. in there so. Uh, we're gonna pour this out, clean up this uh, globe, and the uh, and the figurine. Be right back. All right. All right. So, Ali used a soft bristle brush. Did you use any soap on this? I did. You did. Okay. A little bit of dish soap. A little bit of dish. Little soap. Little bit of dish soap and a soft bristle brush. Yeah. And uh, this is looks very clean now. The stopper's all clean. All that brown gunk is off of there. Because it had a smell to it. Yeah. And, and that's the only reason why. When I mean, that, not that you're gonna smell <laughs> it because it's in the globe. When but that I water figured... turns brown, it's uh, it, yeah. it, it it has a, a a very weird smell. Yeah. Uh, now the uh, globe, uh, normally uh, on the smaller globes, I use a, a handle sponge for cleaning glasses and I'll stick this, well here, it's right there. I'll use this normally uh, to clean the inside of the globe. However, this globe was big enough that I could get my hand in there and uh, use a sponge so it was easier. So anyway, that's how big this globe is. This is a six inch globe. And my hubby has big hands. <laughs> <laughs> this is a six inch globe which holds eight cups of water which is a half a gallon so this is a half a gallon of water in here all right all right so now we're going to put a half a gallon of water in this thing half a gallon <laughs> of water i got it there we go well almost a half a gallon right. i'm not going to fill it all the way up because the uh because he doesn't want to get spit in the face anymore. right this is a very this is a large uh this is a large uh figurine so when we put it in there it's going to displace a lot of water so i'll probably go up maybe a little past three quarters of the way And again, folks, this is your um, filtered water with alcohol. Yeah, filtered water with uh, about a tablespoon or so of alcohol per gallon. As you see right here, this was full and now it's about halfway down. All right, so now for the glue. And uh, for those of you who have watched our other videos, you know that we use the uh, uh, clear glue to uh, thicken the water up so that the snow and uh, glitter fall slower. Uh, we have a link in our description to the uh, Snow Globe Toolkit video, which shows all of the uh, materials and tools that we use. Uh, you can check that out and see mm -hmm. what uh, all the stuff that we use. Uh, but we, there are different things. There's also a comparison video for the different things you can put in the globe, uh, into the water or in, in, instead of that water. That's definitely worth checking out. Yeah. Because if you mess with certain liquids before you see them, you're just gonna be miserable. That's all I'm gonna say. Right, so uh, <laughs> there's a link to that comparison yeah. video. So if you wanna use glue, uh, or you want to use glycerin, or you want to use baby, baby oil. oil. You have that. You, we, we we compare all three. But here's the thing that uh, I'll let you know: uh, plain water is an option. Yes. You don't have to put anything in the water. But if you want to slow down the snow and the and the uh, uh, glitter, glitter, uh, put something in the water to yeah. thicken it up. So we use uh, the clear Elmer's glue. Yes. So Allie, if you can hold that now. Mm -hmm. uh, we use at a rate of one tablespoon of glue per cup of water. Eight cups of water, eight tablespoons of glue, and I know Ali's going to ask me to throw an extra tablespoon in there. I know yep. that already. I, so, I, I, I try to get it. The, you know what? The flow is as, as that slow would, as possible. That would be nine tablespoons of glue. I think we should just make it an even ten. Yay! Let's make it an even ten Yay! and just really slow that stuff down. Okay, so what I do is oh, I I've already oh, kind oh. of I count in my head, you know, uh, as I'm pouring, and I know about how much. So I'm going to start pouring this in there. And it's going to take about a minute for me to get uh, 10 tablespoons of glue in here out of this thing. So uh, we'll be right back. All right. That's about 10 tablespoons of glue, which is about most of this bottle of, of glue right here. I used most of the bottle, almost almost gone. That's that's how much glue is in that thing. Oh, that's funny. 
All right, so now we got to stir this up. So I'm going to stir it up here, and as usual, you'll see uh, the glue is all sitting at the bottom here, yeah. uh, or at the you know the the top of the globe, technically. So I'm going to stir it, and you'll see. Can you wipe the condensation off of the, the yeah. globe just with your hand or whatever? Just because um, uh, you can't see that because of the con the, the water's cold, but uh, the water will get cloudy as you stir. And then once the uh, glue is all dissolved, it uh, turns clear. And then you know your glue is all dissolved. I think, is that better, guys? Yeah, it was just the water was so okay. cold that there was condensation. Couldn't yeah, see it, but it was not, cold. the water's clear. Okay. okay. So that was 10 tablespoons of clear Elmer's glue in the water. Now, Allie's going to add the uh, glitter. Now, normally on glues that are um, your average size glues that are half the size, I'll use an eighth of a teaspoon of each color. Um, but I'm going to boob it on up. What is that? Quarter teaspoon? Two quarter. Quarter teaspoon. Of each color. And so. I usually just do two colors unless I'm getting fancy with something. Okay. And I'm going to be using iridescent white. So a quarter of iridescent white because it's a good balancer color when you use dark colors. And I'm going to be using um, a dark color in the second one. So there's that one. And emerald. Yeah, that'll go with the leaves. Yes. Yeah, I just realized, uh, yeah, that'll that'll work with the green leaves up here. And then I guess the other color works with the uh, the base and some mm -hmm. of the, the white parts of the, yeah. So let's stir that up and see how let's that, see looks. What that looks like. Let's see how much glitter you have okay. in there. It doesn't sound like a lot, but once it circulates through the, through the water, it uh, it disperses and it looks very different. Yeah. Yeah, like I think a, that's pretty good. Looks pretty like a, looks like a little tornado in there, yeah. Yeah. Looks good. I think it looks good. Okay, yeah. so. Now we can go ahead and put the figurine in. And we did not mark this one Ah, either. we forgot to mark it. You know what? So hey, bad about we, that. we keep forgetting to mark. We, we, we should have marked the uh, stopper and put a mark inside the base so we could line it up properly. Uh, and sometimes we forget to do that. But the thing is, uh, and, and really, you, you can put it in any, any way, way you, you want. want. It doesn't really yeah. matter in this case. <laughs> But uh, these two, yes. uh, these two birds were kind of facing where the exactly. sign is. So as long as we get it in like that, I, think it, it's, I don't think I it's, like I don't it. think it's yeah. gonna. Yeah. So I mean, that's exactly it. I'm yeah. gonna go ahead and take some water from out of the globe here, and I'm gonna put it on the, uh, on the stopper here, because Bef that'll help the stopper yeah. to uh, to go past the glass and slide into the into the globe. But you really do, uh, on some globes, want to mark it because there are some globes that you know if you really want to keep it the way that it originally looked you know it's a, it's a good idea <laughs> all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get this stopper in about okay. half about halfway if i can get it to go just halfway sometimes they fall all the way but okay there we go that's, there, that's there's the, like it snapped yeah in. there's a uh, there's a like a lip there's a uh, a high spot here and usually you can push that in until the the, the globe hits that high spot and that'll be the midway point point. then you can flip it over without losing any water and check it out and that way it's not all the way in, so you don't have to worry about uh, having to get that stopper all the way out again. I think that I looks think pretty that good. Looks pretty good, yeah. I think I think we got it on the first try, just think, uh, just yeah, right. Yeah. I agree with you. I think okay. that looks pretty. So okay. I'm going to push the stopper all the way back in, and I'm going to keep this air bubble at the top here, so I can try and uh, get as much of that air bubble out as I'm pushing the stopper in. So I'm going to start at the bottom here, and I'm going to pull the lip down on the uh, on the stopper here to let the air out. And some water too. <laughs> a little bit of water and air. This poor man. Okay, it got me again. <laughs> again. Well, not this globe, but a globe got me again. Every globe. Ah. Oh no. All right. <laughs> Is there an air bubble after all that? Let's see. <laughs> Holy cow, look at that. No air bubble. No. I don't have to use a syringe or anything. I can't, wow. Wow. The okay, that's a good sign right there. No air bubble on the, didn't even try to take the air bubble off. It just <laughs> put in the, there we go, man, it's a first. I don't think I've ever put a, a, a figurine in and gotten zero air bubble on the first try. Look at that. All right. That's crazy. Hey. Hey. Next step. <laughs> uh, and for anyone who hasn't seen our previous videos, uh, when we get air bubbles in here, we're not gonna do it this time, but uh, right. we have a syringe that we use We'll stick the syringe in between the stopper and the globe, get it in there, get the air bubble up to the top here, and then just fill it up until the air bubble comes out. Yep. And this time, we don't have you to do that. We don't have to do that. And it's Look perfect. That. All right. So now okay. what we're going to do is we're going to dry, dry up all out. this water yep. in here with a paper towel. We'll tie, take a, might take a, uh, a, he a hair dryer and dry up the water a little bit once we dried up with a paper towel, not to the point where the where the glue melts, but just enough to to uh, 
uh, dry up the water, maybe like hold the dryer like maybe about six inches away from the globe or something. So we'll dry this all up, come back, seal it, and then we'll uh, continue. All the water's dry as best as we could get it. Um, we didn't use a hair dryer. We just went with the uh, uh, paper towel and just got it all really good and let, let it sit for a little bit. Now we're gonna take our hot glue gun and we are going to put glue in this area right here to cover between the stopper across the uh, gap and over to the glass over here to seal it so we don't lose any water. All right, and I have a feeling this is gonna be a two stick yes, globe. Ma I agree. Maybe a three stick globe, it's hard yeah, to say, so least, let's say. At least two. At least two. You want me to, let me know if you want me you to Go ahead and turn it, it yeah. All right, I think we got it. That took three sticks of glue to seal mm -hmm. this, three sticks. But we got it all the way around from the base all the way into the stopper, so that is sealed. I don't think we're gonna have any problems with that. All right, Ali, so you ready? Oh, okay. we have to we have to fix the music box. Yeah, so I'm gonna grab all something right. and put that in. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this aside. We'll be right back and we'll set up to fix that music box. Okay, so as you saw when we pulled the uh, cover off, the music box uh, is partially falling apart. It looks like the spring assembly on the music box somehow got lifted up yeah. and pulled, and it's 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 just not, the governor came out. So I think what I'm gonna do here, I think this might be just as easy, uh, as, easy as, okay, so the bottom of the governor goes in this little hole right there. And uh -huh. there's another, there's another, yeah, there's another matching hole up here. So if I do this right here, put the bottom of the governor in the bottom hole and it has the little gear there that it uh, matches up with. Um, okay, let's see here. It's, it looks like it's almost, <clears throat> I just gotta line this piece up that, there we oh, go, there we go. go. Oh, I think I got it. Did you? Let's see. Hey. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> It was like one of those uh, in the movies where like they're 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 uh, playing something and all of a sudden just flies apart. Yeah. Yeah. It was playing fine and just flew. So what we need to do is we need to do that again, but then glue this down so it doesn't come up. <laughs> That's the problem. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing yeah. we just did. Uh, we probably won't make you sit through it again, but uh, we'll glue it down so it doesn't come apart again, and uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. <laughs> okay. So got it fixed. Uh, can you put a light on here for me, Allie, yes. please? I'll show you what happened here, uh, and you'll understand. Uh, this spring right here mounts onto the main part uh, and is held on by these two like uh, pressed in rivets. This one broke. That's why this cover for this, or this actual spring assembly wasn't being held down. So what I did is I took some glue and uh, some Zappa Gap and uh, put it on there. So now this is being held down and it actually plays without flying to pieces. Yeah. So that's good. We fixed it. All right, so now we got a working music box. We can put this thing back together. Now. All right, so we're gonna put three drops of glue on here like we normally do because uh, that's all you need. That's it? all you need. That's all you need. So we're gonna put one, we're gonna put like a triangulation here. Two, three, and I know Allie's waiting for it. There you go. Uh, and voila the glue is on now we'll just drop this music box into place and there it goes hey, hello something's uh, always popping up at you hey <laughs> it's in there i'm satisfied we're gonna let that glue cool and we'll yeah. be right back all right she's finished she's pretty she's all done and uh i think mom's gonna like it yeah, well, aside from the music box, this was uh, pretty easy. <laughs> not 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 a bad fix. Yeah. It was it went pretty pretty straightforward, pretty but even well. That wasn't difficult. No, we figured that one out. It was just uh, kind of weird. Yeah. But uh, so, anyways, there it is: uh, clean water, uh, new glitter, yep. and a repaired music box. Yep. So um, we're gonna go ahead and flip it over, and just get that glitter going, so you can see what it looks like, and you already know what the music sounds like. But there she is. There she is. 
I think you, the, your choice of glitter works uh, yeah. very well with like the uh, with the birds and the, and the flowers. Yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah, I think it looks good. Um, and I think uh, I think your mother is going to like it. Good. Yeah. So everybody, I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Let and, us know. Yep. Yeah, let us know what you think in the comments. And uh, um, we got some really cool globes coming up. Yeah, we found some cool stuff that we're going to be uh, working on here up in the upcoming videos. So uh, stick with us and. Uh, Hopefully we'll see you in the next video. And again, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, everybody. And uh, until next time, take care. Bye.